this grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can use a polyline uh, or a curve to produce a stair. As you can see here, we can simply give a curve and produce a stair with this. So this definition is written by uh, Forrest Hall. So you can check out his link in the website, uh, in the Food for Rhino website, uh, and you can also download the, the definition. I'm going to explain about this definition is uh, how we can use it. So first of all, as you can see, uh, the first input is a, a polyline or a curve. That's the base curve for the stair. So you can see that uh, here there are two curves. So a polyline. There are two polylines. This is the first polyline and this is the second one. So the right side, left side is important and that is uh, basically the offset of this. So you can see that you, it means that you want to produce the stair here uh, or you want to produce the stair outside of that curve or polyline. So if I just double click this to the false, you can see that this stair will just go to outside and with, if we have this to true, you can see that it can produce the stair because it can produce a stair between those uh, two lines. And also you can check this out from the top view. You can see that if I put this to true, uh, the stair is basically on inside this polyline. And if I put it on false, it's outside that. Uh, for the curve, it's also true. So you can see if you connect this curve to the input, uh, it will produce a stair inside this curve, which you can see it will produce these lines to uh, manage the stair or, or if you just put this to true you can see that this curve is producing the stair and we can also simply draw a curve as you can see here I can uh, draw a simple curve here and set this to the base curve of the stair. Uh, the second uh, thing is the height of the stair you can decrease or increase the height of the stair so we can just put this to four meters and the step height, so we can put this to maybe 0 0.13 uh, meters. And the last thing is the width of the stair. You can see that if I put it to 3, it will produce this outside the curve. And this will be inside, uh, which you can see it will manage it to. Uh, and it can't have the width 3, so I'm going to give it a 2. Uh, the next uh, point about this uh, definition is that you can connect, okay, the outputs are the, uh, the first output is the uh, steps, as you can see here, we can produce the steps here, let me just turn this off, okay, uh, the first output is the steps you can produce, the second one is the uh, extrusion of the line, or the extrusion result, uh, you have these curves here also, and let me just show you by turning this off and these are the lines or the curves of the stair so you can use it later for the rail or the handrail so we'll explain that later the next one is uh, the uh, plan uh, as you can see here it's the platform of the stair so let me just connect these steps to the platform so you can see this okay and the last one is the actual height of the step so if you uh, define this as 0 0.13, this is the actual step, height of the step, it's going to tell you. Okay. After that, you can connect the uh, curves of that uh, stair to the input of this one, this definition, and you can see that it's simple. Uh, the first thing is the handrail widths. So uh, let's check this. This is the handrail, as you can see here. Uh, we can define the handrail width here, so we can increase this or decrease that, okay. Uh, the next one is the balusters, as you can see here, these are the balusters you can produce, so you can also define the distance between them. I can put a 0 0.6 here, and you can see that distance increases, or 0 0.2, uh, or decrease the distance. Okay, so this is the distance between the balusters and the uh, uh, last one is the handrail height. So you can see that I can increase or decrease the height of the handrail. So we will also have the handrail surface here so we can see that this is the handrail surface. So you can produce that 
and uh, the distance can be controlled you can see here and this is the width okay so you can give this to as many polycurves possible so check this out we can give this uh, multiple polylines here but for the curve remember that you can only give this to one curve the base curve for the stairs so this is the polylines and this is for the curve which we just used before so you can also use an arc to maybe uh, produce a simple stair here you can see this okay we can increase the height maybe six and okay we can also increase the step height to maybe 10 and this is the true false you can use okay so uh, this is the small video tutorial how you can use this simple stair generate stair definition thank you for watching if you have any comments feel free to put below the video and thank you for subscribing to our channel and we will also uh, post uh, different grasshopper definitions uh, each week so stay tuned